attributable risk and attributable risk percent. Uh, two terms are used to estimate the relationship between uh, risk factor exposure and the occurrence of the disease, but they often get mixed up. So we try to explain them and give some examples. When a disease strikes a population, we measure morbidity by incidence rate. We count the new cases uh, reported within a defined period of time uh, in that population uh, by the total population at risk during that same period of time. If we suspect a risk factor is involved in the development of the disease, uh, we do measurement of association to quantify the strength of relationship between risk factor and disease. So we calculate the incidence rate in uh, exposed group and uh, non-exposed group, and we compare them. Uh, now, uh, if there is a relationship, we expect the uh, 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 incidence rate in exposed group to be higher than non-exposed group. So. Uh, we use uh, uh, two different scales uh, to measure the strength of association. One is a ratio scale, which is uh, based on a rate between the uh, uh, incidence rate in exposed and non-exposed group. And the other one is, uh, difference, is uh, a difference uh, uh, scale. It's based on absolute, absolute difference between the incidence rate in exposed and non-exposed. So let's take an example. Here's the relative risk. Is uh, the uh, uh, it's it's a, a ratio between the uh, incidence rate in exposed group to the incidence rate in uh, non-exposed group. And the relative risk is the difference between incidence rate in exposed and non-exposed. And here's the example. A, co a cohort study is trying to estimate the risk of sun exposure in the development of a melanoma. A group of 200 people participated in that study. 100 of them has long hours of unprotected daily sun exposure, and 100 have limited sun exposure. They were followed over a period of time. The melanoma incidence was reported as the following. We have two by two table. The question is what's the relative risk and the absolute and attribute, uh, uh, attributable risk of sun exposure in the development of melanoma. So uh, we calculate the uh, incidence rate in exposed group and non-exposed group. So for the exposed group, it's uh, 20 divided by uh, uh, 100, that's 20%. And the incidence rate in non-exposed, that's 4 divided by 100, that's 4%. The difference is the attributable risk which is 16%, and uh, the, uh, uh, the ratio is the relative risk, which is uh, 20 divided by 4, that's 5. This is a uh, relative risk. Now, <clears throat> the attributable uh, risk percent is uh, another term. Uh, uh, it describes the uh, proportion of disease incidence in the exposed group, and that's calculated by dividing the attributable risk uh, to the uh, incidence rate in exposed group. We have example, uh, the same uh, uh, cohort study example. We have two by two table. The question is, what percent of melanoma in sun exposed group is attributable to the sun exposure? So we count the uh, uh, attributable risk, which is uh, uh, the difference between uh, incidence rate in exposed and non-exposed, that's 20% minus 4%, and we divide that by the incidence rate in the exposed group. So we have 16 divided by 20, that's 80%. Now, attributable risk percent can also be calculated using a different uh, 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 method, that is uh, uh, relative risk minus 1 divided by relative risk. And uh, for the previous example, it's, uh, the relative risk was 5, so it is uh, equal to 80%, uh, which is the same number we got here, 80%. And that's because the, uh, those two fractions, they are the same. Uh, and we can show that. So uh, we have the uh, incidence rate uh, minus incidence, uh, incidence in exposed minus in, uh, incidence in non-exposed divided by exposed. 
if we divide the, uh, the two sides of the fraction, the top and the bottom, uh, by the same number, uh, we will have uh, an equal uh, uh, fraction. So we divide by incidence uh, rate in uh, non-exposed on top and bottom. So we will get uh, incidence rate in exposed in uh, uh, divided by incidence in non-exposed. That relative risk minus this one is equal to one, and this one equal to relative risk. So we have the same equation. Now there is another another term uh, that is uh, also used and get confused uh, sometimes with um, uh, another one. That is the population attributable risk percent. Uh, this uh, term it describe the uh, proportion of disease incidence in the on the whole population. Uh, so we calculate the attributable risk for the whole population, not the, ju just the exposed group. So we calculate the incidence rate in population, divide uh, minus the incidence rate in uh, non-exposed, and we divide that by the incidence in the whole population. So incidence in the uh, uh, population minus incidence in uh, non-exposed divided by incidence in the whole population. And for that same example, uh, the calculation will be uh, incidence in the whole population will equal to 24 divided by 200. That's minus the non-exposed uh, 4%. Um, so we have uh, uh, 12 minus 4, that's 8, divided by the incidence rate in the whole population, 12%. So that's equal to 67%. Thank you.